drag force and terminal velocity. Objectives To understand the concept of drag force and factors affecting it, to study the terminal velocity and to look at its examples. Have you ever seen skydivers sailing through the sky? Don't you feel amazed to see them? You might wonder how they control their speed during flight. To understand this, let us first have a look at the concept of drag force. For this, consider two different media, that is a vacuum and air. Take an iron ball and a book having same mass of 1 kg. Drop them simultaneously in both the media. We can see that in a vacuum, both the objects are falling with the same speed under the influence of the gravitational force. But the ball falling in air is slower than its counterpart in a vacuum. In air, the book falls still slower than the ball. Do you know why? Besides gravitational force, the object in air experiences collisions with air particles. These collisions give rise to a resistant force called air resistance or drag force acting in the direction opposite to that of the motion. Drag force is given by the equation D equals 1 half C rho AB square. Let us now study the factors affecting drag force. 1. A denser medium has more air particles which increase the probability of collision with the falling body resulting in a higher drag force. Thus, the drag force acting on an object is proportional to the density of the medium through which the object is moving. 2. Larger the cross-sectional area exposed to air, more will be the air resistance experienced by it. So, the drag force acting on an object varies directly with the cross-sectional area of the object. 3. As the speed of the falling body increases, it experiences more collisions with the particles of the medium, thereby increasing air resistance acting on the object. Hence, the drag force also depends on the relative velocity of the object. Coming back to our previous experiment, as the object falls with a constant gravitational acceleration, it keeps attaining more and more velocity. Simultaneously, the drag force acting on the body also keeps on increasing. Once the drag force equals the force due to gravity, the net resultant force acting on the object becomes zero, which means the object no longer accelerates. Rather, it will now fall with a constant velocity. This constant velocity attained by the object under free fall condition is called terminal velocity Vt of the object. Its mathematical expression is given as Vt equals square root of 2mg over c rho a where c is the drag coefficient. More the amount of drag force acting on an object, less will be the terminal velocity. Terminal velocity of an object on the earth also varies directly with its mass. Massive bodies have greater terminal velocities and hence fall faster than lighter bodies. Now we are in a position to understand the movement of skydivers. In order to fly at high speeds, they reduce their effective surface area. So their terminal velocity increases. During their flight, most skydivers attain spread eagle position to maximize their effective surface area, thus lowering their terminal velocity and giving them more time to fall through the sky. Summary In free fall conditions, Particles of the medium collide with the object, thereby giving rise to a resistant force called air resistance or drag force. 
when gravitational force acting on an object in free fall condition matches the air resistance, the object falls at constant velocity called terminal velocity. Terminal velocity depends on mass of the object, density of medium, cross-sectional area of object and gravitational acceleration. Skydivers change their posture to manipulate the drag force acting on them and hence the terminal velocity.